In this video, we'll look at how to format your drive with XFAT on Mac OS 11, Big Sur, and later. The following steps are applicable to the Mac OS versions 12 Monterey and Mac OS 11 Big Sur. You can check the link provided in the description to verify the version of Mac OS you're using. When formatting your drive XFAT on Mac OS 11 Big Sur and later, it is important to keep the following points in mind. Time Machine does not support XFAT. Starting with Big Sur, APFS is now the default for Time Machine. Another item to take into consideration is that the XFAT devices must be ejected safely to avoid corruption as they are not journal file systems. Lastly, drives should always be formatted on Mac OS when utilizing between Mac OS and Windows since not all Windows allocation unit sizes, cluster sizes, are supported by Mac OS preventing the disk from mounting. Please take note of the important reminder below. Because reformatting the disk will completely wipe out all the data on the drive, you should make a backup of any data you want to keep before formatting. Let's get started! The first step is to open Disk Utility, which can be accessed from Finder, then look for Applications. Choose on Utilities, then click Disk Utility. Select Show All Devices from the View menu in the upper left corner. Then, choose the non-indented entry with the word Media in the name. This window will appear when you click the Erase button in the menu. It is important to note that if you don't see the scheme, double-check that all devices are shown and that the non-indented entry is selected. Set a name for the volume and set format to XFAT. Set scheme to GUID partition map. Note that formatting the drive will permanently remove all the data on the drive. If there is any data on the drive that you need or don't have a backup of, please make a backup before proceeding with the formatting process. After pressing the Erase button, this utility begins the process of reformatting the drive. Once complete, click Done. The disk should now be formatted XFAT, which you can confirm by selecting the indented entry, which will now show XFAT volume under the name you specified. For more details, check out our other videos. Thank you for your time and for being part of Seagate.